Bonaire pronounced or Dutch Bonaire pronounced bo n r Papiamento Boniru pronounced Buniru is an island in the Leeward Antilles in the Caribbean Sea. Its capital is Kralendijk, located near the ocean on the lee side of the island. Aruba, Bonaire and Curaçao form the ABC Islands located less than 100 miles northwest of Venezuela. Unlike much of the Caribbean region, the ABC Islands lie outside Hurricane Alley. The islands have an arid climate that attracts visitors seeking warm, sunny weather year-round. Bonaire is a popular snorkeling and scuba diving destination because of its multiple shore diving sites and easy access to the island's fringing reefs. As of 1 January 2016, the island's population totaled approximately 19,408 permanent residents, an increase of 500 from 2015. The island's total land area is 288 square kilometers, 111 square miles. It is 38.6 kilometers, 24.0 miles long from north to south and ranges from 4.8 to 8 kilometers, 3.0 to 5.0 miles wide from east to west. A short 0.80 kilometers, 0.50 miles west of Bonaire across the sea is the uninhabited islet Klein Bonaire with a total land area of 6 square kilometers, 2.3 square miles. Klein has low growing vegetation, no trees, and is bordered by white sandy beaches and a fringing reef. The reefs, beaches and on-island reserves located on both Bonaire and Klein Bonaire are under the protection of the Bonaire National Marine Park, and managed by Stichting Nationale Parken Bonaire Bonaire was part of the Netherlands Antilles until the country's dissolution in 2010, when the island became a special municipality officially public body within the country of the Netherlands. It is one of the three BES islands in the Caribbean, along with Sint Eustatius and Saba, and 80% majority of Bonaire's population are Dutch nationals, and nearly 60% of its residents were born in the former Netherlands Antilles and Aruba. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The name Bonaire is thought to be derived from the Caequitio word bonne, meaning low country. The early Spanish and Dutch modified its spelling to Boinage and also Bonaire. French influence, while present at various times, was never strong enough to make the assumption that the name means good air. History Original inhabitants Bonaire's earliest known inhabitants were the Caequitio, a branch of the Arawak who came by canoe from Venezuela in about 1000 AD. Archaeological remains of Caequitio culture have been found at certain sites northeast of Kralendijk and near Lac Bay. Caequitio rock paintings and petroglyphs have been preserved in caves at Spelonk, Onima, Ceru Pungi and Ceru Krita Chabai. The Caquetios were apparently a very tall people, for the Spanish name for the ABC Islands was Las Islas de los Gigantes or the Islands of the Giants. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> European arrival. In 1499, Alonso de Ojeda arrived in Curaçao and a neighboring island that was almost certainly Bonaire. Ojeda was accompanied by Amerigo Vespucci and Juan de la Cosa. De la Cosa's Mapa Mundi of 1500 shows Bonaire and calls it Isla do Palo Brasil or Island of Brazilwood. The Spanish conquerors decided that the three ABC islands were useless, and in 1515 the natives were forcibly deported to work as slaves in the copper mines of Santo Domingo on the island of Hispaniola. Spanish period In 1526, Juan de Ampes was appointed Spanish commander of the ABC Islands. He brought back some of the original Caequitio Indian inhabitants to Bonaire and Curaçao. Ampes also imported domesticated animals from Spain, including cows, donkeys, goats, horses, pigs and sheep. The Spaniards thought that Bonaire could be used as a cattle plantation worked by natives. The cattle were raised for hides rather than meat. The Spanish inhabitants lived mostly in the inland town of Rincon which was safe from pirate attack. <inaudible> <inaudible> Dutch period 
The Dutch West India Company was founded in 1621. Starting in 1623, ships of the West India Company called at Bonaire to obtain meat, water and wood. The Dutch also abandoned some Spanish and Portuguese prisoners there, and these people founded the town of Antriel which is a contraction of Spanish Al Interior English, inside. The Dutch and the Spanish fought from 1568 to 1648 in what is now known as the Eighty Years' War. In 1633, the Dutch—having lost the island of St. Martin to the Spanish— retaliated by attacking Curaçao, Bonaire and Aruba. Bonaire was conquered in March 1636. The Dutch built Fort Orange in 1639. While Curaçao emerged as a centre of the slave trade, Bonaire became a plantation of the Dutch West India Company. A small number of African slaves were put to work alongside Indians and convicts, cultivating dyewood and maize and harvesting solar salt around Blue Pan. Slave quarters, built entirely of stone and too short for a man to stand upright in, still stand in the area around Rincon and along the saltpans as a grim reminder of Bonaire's repressive past. Historically, Dutch was not widely spoken on the island outside of colonial administration, its use increased in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Students on Curaçao, Aruba and Bonaire were taught predominantly in Spanish until the late 19th century when the British took Curaçao, Aruba and Bonaire. The teaching of Spanish was restored when Dutch rule resumed in 1815. <inaudible> <inaudible> British period During the Napoleonic Wars, the Netherlands lost control of Bonaire twice, once from 1800 to 1803 and again from 1807 to 1816. During these intervals, the British had control of the neighbouring island of Curaçao and of Bonaire. The ABC Islands were returned to the Netherlands under the Anglo-Dutch Treaty of 1814. During the period of British rule, a large number of white traders settled on Bonaire, and they built the settlement of Playa in 1810. Emancipation <inaudible> 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 From 1816 until 1868, Bonaire remained a government plantation. In 1825, there were about 300 government-owned slaves on the island. Gradually many of the slaves were freed and became freemen with an obligation to render some services to the government. The remaining slaves were freed on 30 September 1862 under the Emancipation Regulation. A total of 607 government slaves and 151 private slaves were freed at that time. Allotment In 1867 the government sold most of the public lands, and in 1870 they sold the salt pans. The entire population became dependent on two large private landowners, which caused a great deal of suffering for many people. Many inhabitants were forced to move to Aruba, Curaçao, or Venezuela. World War II During the German occupation of the Netherlands during World War II, Bonaire was a protectorate of Britain and the United States. The American army built the Flamingo Airport as an Air Force base. After Germany invaded the Netherlands on 10 May 1940, many German and Austrian citizens were interned in a camp on Bonaire for the war's duration. In 1944, Princess Juliana of the Netherlands and Eleanor Roosevelt visited the troops on Bonaire. Post-war After the war, the economy of Bonaire continued to develop. The airport was converted to civilian use and the former internment camp was converted to become the first hotel on Bonaire. The Dutch Schunk family built a clothing factory known as Schunk's Kledingindustrie Bonaire. In 1964, Trans World Radio began broadcasting from Bonaire. Radio Netherlands Worldwide built two shortwave transmitters on Bonaire in 1969. The second major hotel, Bonaire Beach Hotel was completed in 1962. Salt production resumed in 1966 when the salt pans were expanded and modernized by the Antilles International Salt Company, a subsidiary of the International Salt Company. Part of the facilities extend into the Caribbean Sea and form the popular dive site known as Salt Pier. 
The Bonaire Petroleum Corporation oil terminal was opened in 1975 for trans-shipping oil. Geography Bonaire lies about 50 miles 80 km off the coast of Venezuela on the continental shelf of South America, and is thus geologically considered a part of the continent. Geologists believe that Bonaire was formed relatively recently. As the nearby continental shelf now located near Montserrat, and the cause of the volcanic activity on that island moved through the area, it forced a large mass of rock to the ocean surface and created the islands of the Lesser and Greater Antilles, including Bonaire. As the seabed rose a vast coral reef grew on what is now dry land. These corals were eventually exposed to air and perished, becoming surface limestone deposits over the millennia. Vast amounts of coral skeletons may be seen along the shoreline and across the interior of Bonaire. The island is essentially a coral reef that has been geologically pushed up and out of the sea. This also resulted in the natural fringing reef system seen today, in which the coral formations start at the shoreline. Tidal variations are only about 1.8 to 2.0 feet 55 to 61 centimeters, so the corals start at the low tide line and continue on, following the underwater topology of the island's base. Bonaire's tides are more affected by a combination of wind and low, high-pressure systems than by the moon. The northern end of the island is relatively mountainous, although its highest peak is only 240 meters 790 feet. The southern part of the island is nearly flat and barely rises above sea level. A significant portion of this southern region is covered with sea water in process of evaporation for salt production. This area also contains Lac Bay with its large mangrove forest. The shoreline of Bonaire is dotted with lagoons and inlets, the largest of which is Gotu Lake in the north. These lagoons and wetlands provide an excellent habitat for a wide variety of shorebirds. Bonaire has a warm, dry, though humid, and windy climate. The average temperature is 81.5 degrees Fahrenheit .5 degrees Celsius with a 2.5 degrees Fahrenheit .4 degrees Celsius seasonal variation and 10 degrees Fahrenheit .6 degrees Celsius daily variation. The ocean temperature around the island fluctuates between 78 and 86 degrees Fahrenheit 26 and 30 degrees Celsius. The highest recorded temperature is 96.4 degrees Fahrenheit .8 degrees Celsius and the lowest, 67.6 degrees Fahrenheit .8 degrees Celsius. Nearly constant winds blow from the east with an average speed of 12 knots 22 km per hour. The humidity is very constant, averaging 76% and fluctuating between 85% and 66% on a daily basis. Average annual rainfall is 20.5 inches 520 mm, most of which occurs in October through January. Bonaire lies outside the hurricane belt, though its weather and oceanic conditions are occasionally affected by hurricanes and tropical storms. This semi-arid climate is conducive to a variety of cacti and other desert plants. Klein Bonaire, the small island in the sheltered Lee of Bonaire, has the same geological history. While Bonaire has some hills and variations in altitude, Klein Bonaire's surface is quite level and just a few feet above high tide. Because the island is as yet undeveloped, the fringing reef system surrounding Klein Bonaire is truly pristine. The smaller island is entirely ringed with dive sites. Bonaire has a land area of 288 square kilometers, 111 square miles, while Klein Bonaire is an additional 6 square kilometers, 2.3 square miles. Washington Slagby National Park is an ecological preserve on the north side of the island. The highest point of Bonaire, Mount Brandaris, 240 meters (790 feet) high, is located within this preserve and has a complete view of the island. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Ecology. Bonaire is fringed by a coral reef which is accessible to divers from the shore along the lee side of the island facing west-southwest. The entire coastline of the island was designated a marine sanctuary in 1979, an effort to preserve and protect the delicate coral reef and the marine life that depends on it. There are more than 350 species of fish and 60 species of coral living in Bonaire's reef. Boulder star coral annularis is the most common coral, according to a 2011 survey. Bonaire is also famed for its flamingo populations and its donkey sanctuary. 
Flamingos are drawn to the brackish water of the island's lagoons, which harbors the shrimp upon which they feed. Bonaire is home to one of only four nesting grounds for the Caribbean flamingo. Located in the Pecklemere in the southern part of the island, no human entry is permitted in this sanctuary. In the 16th century, Europeans introduced sheep, goats, pigs, horses and donkeys on Bonaire, and the descendants of the donkeys, goats and pigs roam the island today. Bonaire is also home to the ecologically vulnerable yellow-shouldered Amazon parrot, Amazona barbadensis. Environmental initiatives The island of Bonaire has long been a leader in nature conservation and ecological responsibility. The National Park Foundation, Stichting Nationale Parken was founded in 1962 for the purpose of actively protecting nature on the island. In 1969 STINAPA succeeded in establishing both the Flamingo Nesting Sanctuary and Washington National Park, the first such nature preserves in the Caribbean. In 1979, the Slagby Plantation was added to the park, now known as Washington Slagby National Park. The Bonaire National Marine Park was also established in 1979. The marine park consists of the whole coastline of Bonaire from the high water mark down to a depth of 200 feet 61 meters and includes a large mangrove forest in Lac Bay. Lac Bay, Klein Bonaire, Pecklemere, Slagby and Gotomere are recognized as wetlands of international significance under the Ramsar Convention. Due to a public-private sector partnership, programs are being developed to advance the local awareness and attitudes toward conservation and habitat preservation in order to proactively protect Bonaire's ecosystem. A new sewage treatment plant will contribute to protecting the reefs and the seawater quality. In March 2013 Saliban NV, the National Garbage Processing Plant, opened an environmental court where the general public can bring glass, cans, paper, scrap metal, cardboard, batteries, motor oil, cooking oil, electronics, mobile phones and textiles. Bonrecycling BV is committed to recycling waste products in Bonaire and to create awareness among the people of Bonaire about the importance and benefits of recycling. Dive Friends Bonaire started a debris-free Bonaire program that emphasizes collecting debris washed ashore and delivering it to the dive shop for separation in preparation for handling by Bonrecycling. Bonaire gets a significant amount of its electricity from an array of 12 wind generators along its northeastern coastline which began operating in 2010. This renewable source now fills 40 to 45 percent of the island's electricity needs. Work continues in developing additional renewable sources of energy, including biodiesel and solar, with the goal of becoming 100 percent reliant on renewables. Topic: <laughs> Government. Topic. 2010 referendum Prior to the 2010 referendum, the Netherlands Antilles comprising the islands of Curaçao, Bonaire, St. Eustatius, St. Martin and Saba were governed as a parliamentary democracy based on the Dutch system of government with free elections held every four years. Dissension about the political future resulted in four of the five islands advocating for separation from the Netherlands Antilles. Some of the island residents wanted autonomy while others wanted more integration. In 2005, a conference was held by the governments of the Netherlands, Aruba, and the Netherlands Antilles to discuss future constitutional reform and dissolution of the Netherlands Antilles. In 2006, St. Martin and Curaçao chose autonomy, and Bonaire, St. Eustatius, and Saba opted for a closer relationship with the Netherlands. Constitutional referendums and dismantlement of the Netherlands Antilles was scheduled to take place in 2010. Bonaire's announced referendum scheduled for the 26th of March 2010 was cancelled in February 2010. The governor of the Dutch Antilles, Fritz Gedgedrag, decided to cancel it because it probably contravened international law since part of the population is barred from voting. European Dutch nationals are only allowed to vote if they arrived on the island before the 1st of January 2007. The referendum was postponed to September and then October 2010. Eventually the referendum was held on 17 December 2010, with 84% voting in favour of becoming part of the Netherlands. However, as the 35% voter turnout rate was below the required 51%, the results of the referendum were declared invalid. <laughs> <laughs> 
Topic: <laughs> Dissolution of the Netherlands Antilles. On 10 October 2010, the Netherlands Antilles was dissolved. As a result, the Government of the Netherlands assumed the task of public administration of the Caribbean Netherlands or BES islands comprising Bonaire, St. Eustatius and Saba. The three islands acquired new status as special municipalities, making them part of the Netherlands itself, a form of public body. Openbaar Leicham as outlined in Article 134 of the Dutch Constitution. Special municipalities do not constitute part of a province. As a special municipality, Bonaire is very much like ordinary Dutch municipalities in that it has a mayor, alderman and a municipal council, and is governed according to most Dutch law. Antillian legislation remained in force after 10 October 2010, with the exception of those cases where Antillian law was replaced by Bonaire's municipal law. It was believed best for the island to not introduce the entire body of Dutch legislation at one time as it would cause confusion. Therefore, Dutch legislation is being introduced in stages. Bonaire retained its own unique culture while residents enjoy the same rights as Dutch citizens, including the right to vote in Dutch parliamentary elections in the Netherlands. Residents also have access to new or improved facilities and government benefits including, but not limited to, universal health care, improved health care facilities, better educational facilities with additional training for teachers, new teaching methods and new school buildings, social housing for low-income individuals and families, a centrally dispatched single police force, fire department and ambulance service. While the three islands are considered to be land of the Netherlands, they are not a part of the European Union, therefore not subject to European Union law. They are considered to be an overseas country and territory. Bonaire's non-governmental organization, Nos K. Boniru Beck, We Want Bonaire Back, is against the current constitutional relationship with the Netherlands. With reference to Bonaire's 2004 referendum, the organization is of the opinion that such an arrangement was never the choice of the people. The Dutch Minister of Home Affairs and Kingdom Relations, Ronald Plasterk, replied to the organisation confirming that only the "...island councils in the Caribbean Netherlands have the authority to decide on holding a constitutional referendum, not the Dutch government." In response, the organisation gathered more than 3,500 signatures in 2013 favouring a new referendum. In a letter to Minister Plasterk, James Finneys, chairman of Nos K. Boniru Beck, requested a New referendum under the right of self determination. Plasterk responded by advising Finneys that preparations for the evaluation of the public entity structure have begun for 2015, but a possible change of the constitutional relations is not part of that evaluation. The new referendum took place on 18 December 2015. 65% of the turnout voted that they were not happy with the current relationship between Bonaire and the Netherlands. Currency In 2011 the BES Islands replaced their currency, the Netherlands Antillian Gilder ISO 4217, ang, symbol, f, with the US dollar rather than replacing it with the euro which is used in the European Netherlands. The decision was based primarily on the needs for tourism and trade. Most countries and territories in the Caribbean use the dollar as their currency or have a currency linked to the dollar as legal tender. The guilder has been pegged to the US dollar for decades with an exchange rate of 1 guilder. 79. Equals 1 dollar. Adopting the dollar put an end to the dual currency payment system and foreign exchange charges. The guilder remained in use in Curaçao and St. Martin. Equals. Topic. Taxes Equals The separate tax regimes for Bonaire, St. Eustatius and Saba present a greater risk of double taxation or double exemption from taxes. In an effort to remove the risk, two plans were introduced. One plan prevents double taxation between the Netherlands Europe and the BES islands while the other prevents double taxation between the BES islands and third countries. The new regime will generate a total annual tax revenue estimated at $52 million which is equal to the current tax revenues on the three islands. The combined population of the three islands is approximately 20,000 with about half that many being income taxpayers. Equals. 
Topic: Economy. Equals. 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 Topic: Tourism. Equals. Equals. Bonaire's economy is mainly based on tourism, taking advantage of its warm, dry climate and natural environment. The island caters to scuba divers and snorkelers, as the surrounding coral reefs are well preserved and easily accessible from the shore. Bonaire has been widely recognized for many years in the diving community as one of the world's best shore diving destinations. Bonaire's Marine Park offers a total of 86 named dive sites and is home to over 57 species of soft and stony coral and more than 350 recorded fish species. Most resorts and hotels have an on site dive shop, and other accommodations are affiliated with a dive operation. The license plates carry the logo Divas Paradise in English, Lac Bay, in the southeastern part of the island, attracts wind surfers from around the world to Bonaire. The shallow bay is on the windward side of the island, so trade winds are strong and constant. A barrier reef across the mouth of the bay allows windsurfers of all skill levels to select wave conditions they like. Lac Bay is one of the stops in the PWA Windsurfing Freestyle World Cup and has hosted the ProKids IFCA Championship. Five of the PWA's ten highest-ranked freestyle windsurfers are from Bonaire, Kiri Thode, Amato Vrieswake, Bjorn Saragoza, Tonki Franz and Taddy Franz. In the northern end of Lac Bay is one of the best-preserved mangrove forests in the Caribbean, which is popular for kayaking and snorkeling. Bonaire is also a port of call for more than 15 cruise lines who make more than 80 calls per season at the island. The total passenger capacity for cruise ships in Bonaire is about 185,000. Tourism infrastructure in Bonaire is contemporary and offers a variety of types of accommodations, including hotels, full service resorts, a few small bed and breakfasts, and self catering vacation rentals of all kinds. Other tourist activities include kite boarding, mountain biking, hiking, sailing, charter fishing, boating, and bird watching. All in all tourist expenditures in Bonaire are estimated at $125 million per year. Other industry Salt production, utilizing the naturally low-lying geography and traditional Dutch dike design, much of Bonaire's southern half has been made into a giant system of ponds and pools which evaporate seawater to produce salt. Presently operated by Cargill, Bonaire's Solar Salt Works produces 400,000 tons of industrial-grade salt per year. After collection, the salt is then washed and stored in large piles. The salt facility operates its own pier where ships are loaded with salt destined for North American, European and Western Pacific markets. Bonaire's salt is used mostly in industrial roles. The large condensing ponds which ring the crystallizer basins, called the Pecklemere, are a natural habitat for numerous species of brine shrimp which in turn feed flocks of hundreds of pink flamingos and other migratory birds. This is the location of Bonaire's Flamingo Sanctuary. Oil storage and shipment. The Bonaire Petroleum Corporation (BOPEC) is a fuel oil storage and transshipment terminal on Bonaire. BOPEC is wholly owned by Venezuelan oil company PDVSA and functions primarily as a storage facility for multiple grades of refined and non-refined oils from Venezuela and refineries on Curaçao and Aruba. BOPEC also has mixing and blending capabilities for its stored fuels. BOPEC's number one pier can receive tankers up to 500,000 DWT, which means there are only seven ships in the world that are too big for the BOPEC terminal. A fire at the BOPEC terminal in 2010 is believed to have had a significant impact on Gotu Lake and at least one other nearby lagoon. Transportation Bonaire's first airport was located near Trié Montaigne Subi Blancu and crossed the current path of Kralendijk to Rincon and was built in 1936. The airport proved to be too small when American soldiers arrived on Bonaire in the second half of 1943. The commander stated that a new airport had to be built. Construction began in December 1943, with the new Flamingo Airport opening in 1945. A small terminal was built that was suitable for the number of passengers at the time. 
This building was used until mid-1976. The airport had received many extensions of both the runway and the terminal itself. Today the airport is known as Flamingo International Airport and is served by a variety of both domestic and international airlines. Services from the U.S. include Delta Air Lines and United Airlines. Airlines providing European service include TUI Netherlands and KLM. Consistent air service from Curaçao is available through DVDV Air and Insel Air. The airport is equipped with a fire station, control tower and hangar. Plans are underway for modifications to the current airport facilities, runway and the fire station. Settlements The two towns on the island are Kralendijk the capital and Rincon. Kralendijk has many suburbs, neighborhoods, although on an island with such a small population, the distinction is not always clear-cut. Kralendijk suburbs, neighborhoods include Antriel Belnum Hato Lima Nord Salina Nakiboko Republic Sabadeco Sabana Santa Barbara Terra Cora Other smaller settlements include Fontine Lagoan Sorabon Spilank Winopalabra, Ishiri, Kokorobi, Jan Doran, Vlijt, Rigat, Porto Spano, and Kunchi were several smaller towns that had existed in the national park but were later abandoned. Religion Religion in Bonaire is predominantly Roman Catholic and there are Protestant minorities. Education Bonaire's educational system is patterned after the Dutch system. Early grades are taught solely in Papiamento, with more and more Dutch being introduced as the grade level progresses. Schollinggemeenschap Bonaire serves as Bonaire's secondary school, for ages 12 to 18. Languages Dutch is the official language of Bonaire, as it is part of the Netherlands. However, Dutch is the sole language for all administration and legal matters. According to the 2001 census, it is the main language of 8.8% .8 of the population. The most widely spoken language is the Creole language of Papiamento, which is the primary language of 74.7% .7 of the populace and is recognized by the government. Spanish is the main language of 11.8% of the people, English is the primary language of 2.8%, and other languages account for 1.8%. Bonaire is a polyglot society. Most of Bonaire's population is able to converse in at least two of the languages of Papiamento, Dutch, English and Spanish. <laughs> Recreation and entertainment Topic. Media Trans World Radio Relay Station Trans World Radio operates a radio relay station on Bonaire with a medium wave transmitter and several shortwave transmitters at 12 degrees 6 minutes 23 seconds north 68 degrees 17 minutes 1 second west the medium wave transmitter is the most powerful medium wave transmitter in America, having operated with as much as a half megawatt. The antenna of the medium wave transmitter consists of four 231.6 meter tall masts arranged in a parallelogram. Radio Netherlands Relay Station Radio Netherlands Worldwide operated a shortwave relay station at 12 degrees 12 minutes 48 seconds north 68 degrees 19 minutes 23 seconds west. Because of widespread availability of Internet links providing higher audio quality and more flexibility, shortwave broadcasts by RNW from Bonaire were discontinued and at the end of October 2012, the radio station was closed and installations dismantled. Sports The most popular sports on Bonaire are baseball, windsurfing, athletics, association football, tennis and volleyball. 
The Bonaire Football Federation is a member of CONCACAF and the Bonaire Volleyball Federation is an associate member of NORCECA. The baseball teams play in the Caribbean region of Little League and Pony League. Bonaire was also confirmed as the 218th Table Tennis National Association. <laughs> Notes <laughs>